Hi everyone, uh, my name is Scott. I'm a student from the Central University of Technology Free State, Faculty of Electrical Engineering. Today I'll be presenting uh, a pro um, I'll be presenting the project that I'm working on, which is called Intelligent Traffic Light for Pedestrian Crossing. The way it's gonna work is that uh, it's gonna make use of an LCD to display the time remaining uh, when the red light is on. It's also gonna make use of a buzzer to help blind people uh, when the red light is on. It's also gonna make use of two sensors, the ultrasonic sensor and the infrared sensor uh, without forgetting the real-time clock. So the need for the real-time clock is that during peak hour, it detects uh, using the infrared sensor the amount of people that are crossing the road and based on a certain amount, another signal will be sent to the ultrasonic sensor to check if the people are actually standing on the road. And based on that, increase the red time delay to allow a pedestrian to cross uh, in, a big, in a large number and make the circulation easy. Also to bear in mind that this system is based on a bidirectional road, which could be situated in an educational environment such as school or universities. Uh, now let's go to the operation to demonstrate. Uh, of the traffic light is here as you can see here on the LCD it's saying please stop do not cross and then before changing to the red light there is a buzzer that is driven by a 5 volt relay uh, to, ind to indicate to the blind people that this is time to cross uh, other than that it has to stop uh, people have to stop and wait until it changes yeah this is the real time clock uh, displaying we currently on a Sunday at few minutes to 10. So uh, for the sake of the presentation of uh, this project, which shouldn't be very long, uh, the real-time clock is supposed to pick up during peak hours and activate the senses. But as we cannot wait until that moment for the sake of, ex of the explanation, I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the pedestrian counter using the infrared sensor. Yeah, as I said, for the infrared uh, sensor to count, uh, it, it, will, it will be detecting the number of pedestrians there, and then it check the number of pedestrians. So every time it's gonna pick the number of pedestrians and then update it. And when it gets to, for example, here, six pedestrians or students, it's gonna increase the red uh, time delay and decrease the green time delay if necessary that's it thank you so much guys for watching the video i uh, hope you enjoyed i will see you soon in a new video that i will release with more details on the final product cheers